getting a bad grade. This video may or may not be inspired by a recent experience of mine, but if you consider yourself to be a perfectionist slash have OCD when it comes to your academics like me, or just give a crap about your grades in general, then you will know that it sucks to receive a grade or a score lower than what you know that you can outdo. The only real way to refute this is if your lowest score in the class can be dropped or if you can redo the entire assignment. But if you're in a situation where you just have to stick with the bomb of a grade, then... <laughs> Good luck, Charlie. No, seriously, watch this. The first thing that you can do is ask for extra credit. I mean, who's not gonna take the opportunity? I would hope you take the opportunity to raise your grade, your overall grade for the class that you're in um, by doing extra work. Don't be lazy. If you know that you need the extra credit, take the extra credit offer. Number two is to know that every grade counts. So what I mean by this is a mental system that I've always implemented since elementary school, like primitive learning here. I would strive for the highest grade possible for each assignment. I would put my all into everything that I would do. Therefore, later on, just in case I do slip up or, you know, just looking out for potential future mishaps or even if you just hit burnout, then you have cushion later on. So all of those A's and all of those B's that you've been making early on, will really save you if you were to just absolutely bomb an assignment down the line. So say for example, you have four A's, uh, two B's, a C or two so far, and then you just absolutely just flunk this assignment. Your grade should go down to at least a C, but there are many factors to this. I mean, you have, you know, how many total grades are allotted for this course? And then you have to think about, are they high A's? Are they low B's? Are they mid C's? Or even just the weight of the assignment because it, it, you still have to be realistic at the end of the day. You can't just, you know, make like five A's and then one B and then you make an F or like a D or something. And the assignment that you make the D or the F on is like worth 60% of your grade. I mean, you, you have to take those things into consideration when you are actually putting into practice this system of thinking about the cushion that you provided for yourself early on in the semester. The overall point is to just put in work into your work, like actually care about your grades because at the end of the day, you know, there may come a time where you may not really care so much about striving for the best now, but it may get to a point to in the future where you would have wished that you did put in the work that you should have in order to cover your behind later on. Because the difference between one or two points can really mean everything. The last point is that you have to realize that life goes on because at the end of the day, uh, that one grade does not have the power to destroy your life. You have the power to change your grades and you also have the power to change how that grade affects you emotionally. At the end of the day, the class doesn't last forever and you're gonna be out of there in no time. You win some, you lose some. But you live, you live to fight another day. So I hope that these tips were helpful. Because I totally forgot to add this in my video. This is a reminder to check your grades. Please check your grades because I had one teacher to give me an A minus. She gave me an A minus. And I know that the work that I put in is not A minus material. And I asked her about it because I check my grades frequently. And she was saying that basically it was an accident and that she'll fix it. So please check your grades frequently. Um, it could really save you. I don't, I don't care if you think that you deserved a lower grade than what you received or not. Just check them anyways and really pay attention to the quality of work that you put in and value the rights and wrongs of each assignment. Like, did you get this right? Or just go back and check your work because it could really help you out later on. Professors are human too. They make mistakes all the time. So just go back behind them, double check, and then go from there.